Hey, what's up everyone? I saw this question on the GIS subreddit. Um, does anyone know any tutorials for accessing Sentinel-2 data on AWS through QGIS? Uh, and I thought this was a good question because AWS, they actually have a ton of free public facing data sets that you can work with. And it's a perfect uh, application to use QGIS to view this data. So let's just look at that data first. So if you Google AWS S3 open registry, I'll just click this and we're going to search for Sentinel. And you see there's quite a few Sentinel related data sets, but let's take a look at Sentinel 2 and Sentinel 2 Cloud Optimized. Um, so this data set you're going to have to pay for. So I see it says dash dash request payer. This means for if you want to do some operations like downloading the data or viewing the data, you're going to have to pay and you're going to need an AWS account. So I'm not going to work with this data because that's um, it's unnecessary to to show how to how to use this data in QGIS. So this data set, the Cloud Optimized GeoTIFF, which I understand is the exact same data set, but they converted it to a COG data set, which is uh, it makes it faster to stream from the cloud. This appears to be free, totally free. So I'm going to work with this data set. Um, so if you Google um, AWS CLI. I've downloaded this. It's the AWS command line. Um, it's not necessary to work with it in QGIS, but I think it's it's worth installing. So you just click this and install it. You don't need an AWS account. Um, but once you have that installed, I'm just going to make sure that I can access this bucket. So just copy that and paste it, and we should get um, something back. All right, now I'm just gonna keep digging down until I find a TIFF file. So this might take a while, but I just wanna show you that this is where all this data is and how to work with it. Alright, so here are the TIFFs for this uh, particular area, and I'm pretty sure this is in um, MGRS, like that's how you can locate where this data actually is, but let's grab this, uh, this guy here, because I think that is an actual color image, and actually no, let's copy this whole thing, and I'm going to bring this into QGIS and show you how we can work with it in QGIS, so just go to layer and add layer and add raster layer. And you want to uh, select this one, HTTPS Cloud, and then select AWS S3. And we're going to need the bucket or container and object keys. So let me just paste what I had copied. So the bucket is the first, the first thing, and then this is the key. So that's the bucket, that's the key, but we're missing the name of the file actually. So we want this file. All right. And we need to get rid of this uh, forward slash. And you'll notice it's going to error out first. And I just wanted to show you why it's erroring out and how to fix it. Uh, where did it go? All right, so it's saying cannot open GDAL data set. Um, connection timed out. So it says additional credential oper or options are required as documented here. So I went to this website. And if you look for BSIS3, um, we have to add an environment variable, basically. So where is it? this. We need to AWS no sign request equals yes. So if you remember when we worked with it in the command line, we had to add that. We're going to have to do the same thing in QGIS and there's no real way to do it in the GUI. So what they have you do is you just need to set this environment variable. So if you type ENV and go to environment variables and new, just paste that in and cut that and put that here. just like that and then click OK and OK and then just reopen QGIS 
you're going to have to close and reopen after you add that variable. But now that we added it, it should work. And while that opens up, oh, it's already open. Um, add raster layer. All right, S3. Let me paste what I had before. Get the bucket. And now we just have to add the tiff. All right, so you see this popped up immediately. That that means it, it like made a connection, I think. So it's gonna work. But if we click add, it should add the layer and there we go. So we've added this uh, kind of crappy image here. But yeah, that's how you would add data to um, S or to QGIS from S3. So this is streaming directly from that bucket, uh, which is pretty cool. And there's tons of data in there. Um, so the question is like, is there a better way we can visualize where this data is? So if you just Google Sentinel um, data browser, I just, we're going to use this thing. The thing with this is it's actually, um, that's just a picture. How do you get to the actual browser? There we go. This is actually referencing the uh, other, this bucket, I believe, but the, we can basically use the, the naming convention for our bucket to, to find the data. So if we look for like imagery over Rome here, you just click search. So there's a bunch of data here. And let's just click on one of these. And if you look at the path, so this is not the bucket we're working in, but all of this information is still valid. So we can just change our like what we're looking for. So where we see the number, so instead of 60, we're going to place 33 slash T. Oops. Oh God. All right. 33 slash T. Let's get rid of this. And I'm just, I'm going to start by just going to 2021 just to make sure that exists. Oh, we didn't give it the no sign request. All right. Um, well, we want five. All right, this looks a little different, but you still you're able to find area in the same in the data in the same general area. All right, so let's just grab this. Bring it into QGIS. So the same bucket, we're just gonna change the key here. And add that tiff. All right, so it added it. Let's just browse to it to make sure it actually worked. And there we go. There is the imagery, a little blurry. But that's it. That's how you access data uh, in QGIS from S3. I uh, hope it was helpful. I just wanted to make a quick video on how to do it. Um, if you guys are interested in learning a little more about this, uh, let me know. I actually did cover something similar to this um, in one of my other playlists. Um, I forget what data set I was looking at then, but I kind of did the same thing. Uh, but that was an ArcGIS Pro.
but I'm still working with S3 data. Let me just find that video. It's in this playlist. Oh, it was Landsat data. That's right. So I was kind of doing the same thing with Landsat data in this playlist. Um, but yeah, hopefully that was helpful. Uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.